Well, hey guys, I know I look a little bit different because I got my hair done today. Um, had to get rid of the whites that I was blessed with when I was 20. Um, but anyway, guys, it's amazing. Okay, so Jesus always uses his other believers to reach out about something, okay? So this message is going to be about obedience and faith, okay? You have to have childlike faith, especially if you feel like you're hearing from Jesus and you're doubting it. I mean, you test the spirits, of course, and I always do. So the other day, I had the March 27th message. Okay. And this is amazing. So Jesus saves reaches out to me randomly today. Okay. I feel like he, she's like my, my twin, uh, sister in, in the kingdom, you know, as far as like, he gives me a message and then she explains it. Cause I don't know a lot. So, um, anyway, man, God just gives her so much knowledge. It's awesome. So I didn't understand something. So I left it out of my message and you can't do that because when you hear Jesus speak, you have to be obedient and you have to say everything he says. So he's teaching me. I'm definitely not perfect. Um, so right on the March 27th message of 2023, there's a part in the video where I say, I am your Prince of Peace. Let me save you. Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, and Mordecai had faith. Abraham, Elijah, Joseph trusted me. Will you have faith? Will you trust in me? Well, there was something... And then it said, right after faith is all you, or, and then it said, faith is all you need. So right after that, I left something out. Okay. Um, I didn't understand it. <laughs> so I was talking to Jesus saves and we were just randomly having a conversation about, she had a warning from Jesus. She felt like he gave her like numbers 12 or something. And for her to be obedient and everything, we started talking about, and I said, hey, you know, now that um, I have your information, why don't I send you the words um, through text? And so I did. And she said, yeah, you know, some of those scriptures point back to Nero. And I was like, what? And the Holocaust. So this is the word the Lord spoke to me, and I didn't understand it. And when she said that, I'm going to read... I'm going to read you the text and then I'll get to the message. But, um, I said, uh, first I said, um, I said, are you kidding me? He, he sent after that faith part, he said something about the Holocaust and Nero and, and the samurai sword. And I didn't understand it. So she said, yes, it was the Roman church and they are mostly Gentiles. But well, before I say this, so I said, um, to her, well, I thought that Nero persecuted the Christians, not the Jews. So that's why I was questioning what I was hearing. And so this is her response. <laughs> and the Lord put it on my heart. I have to make this right because I was not 100% obedient. So I have to do this. Okay. So yes, this is what she says. Yes, it was the Roman church and they are most mostly Gentiles, but Peter and Paul are known as the apostles to the Jews and Gentiles respectively, and both were put to death under New, uh, or under Nero. Can't read my handwriting, sorry. It was the early church, so the church was filled with many Jews as well. So rather than it be a story about only Gentiles, yes, you would include the Jews as well. Maybe they tried to erase that part because at that time the Jews also were still trying to snuff out Christianity because Jesus rose from the dead even after they crucified him. Um, and then she said, I know God had me speak to you for a reason, especially because he warned me with numbers 12. He rarely gives me that severe warning. I think it was a test actually. Again, obedience guys. Um, and then I said, well, I also didn't understand samurai. And she said, did you know they believe the sword would protect them from demons? And after they die, it's like a symbol of man trusting in things outside of God to save them. Because you said he mentioned that right after how the Jews trusted God when Nero came to save them. Or wait, I'm sorry, because you said he mentioned that right after how the Jews trusted God when Nero came to save them. Also, one of the scriptures. So this is part of the message was about Daniel, Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego um, and showed me that before I read the message. So she was getting the same message about the Holocaust and Nero before that in another video before I, I knew her. Um, 
like I said, she's like my, my twin spiritual sister. He's given her similar messages. Um, and then she said, all four of them trusted God, the face of death. And he rewarded them. You also said, don't bow the knee to other gods in that message. I think it means the world doesn't trust in God to protect them. In the great tribulation, demons will come and death. Also worship of the beast. But those who do not bend the knee, God will save them. God will save and bless them. Um, the world, rather than gaining blessing from God, will be punished with spiritual death because they trusted in their samurai sword rather than the God above. Okay, so so that was our message. So guys, I heard Nero. So this is what I actually heard. So after that message, come on, my dog is barking. Let me close the door. He's just going to have to wait a second. <laughs> after I, um, I had just ended on that March 27th message, was faith is all uh is all you need it is right after faith is all you need it was this i i can't remember exactly but it was the word right before bendigo and 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 um uh what was it see see i'm telling you they're not my words because i can't remember the names uh shadrach meshach okay so right right after that he said samurai the sword punishes the world holocaust Nero punished the Jews. I saved them and they still worship other gods. So that's what I left out, guys, because I didn't understand it. I thought that Nero punished just the Christians, but then Jesus saves explained it to me and it gave me confidence. So needless to say, I'm not going to hold back anymore. If I don't understand something, I'm just going to say it and be obedient to God because, you know, this was like... um he forgives us, you know, we're not perfect, but, um, I sincerely felt bad about it. And, um, you know, I just went out and prayed to him and I said, I'm so sorry. You know, first I jumped the gun about the constellation with the guy that I shared because, um, apparently Jesus saves said that his order wasn't correct. And I don't, I don't want to mention any names because I don't, I don't like to call people out unless I'm blessing them. But, um, I, I do, I did feel the Holy Spirit in him and I felt like, you know, his passion for Jesus was awesome. But when God gave me the correct order of the Maseroth in my message, which I'll be honest, I didn't even know what the Maseroth was. And then Jesus saves, explained it in her message, the same order that I got. Like I said, my, my little spiritual twin, um, but that wasn't the same order he got. So just, you know, always, you know, take everything to Jesus and um, just discern everything, you know, get discernment on everything because I am so far from perfect and I uh, I make mistakes um, and I'm not 100% obedient like I should be. Hence the samurai sword thing and the Holocaust. So if you are, if you are a messenger... If you're a dreamer, a visionary, and there's something you don't understand, but you know it's from God, say it. Because God's meaning, meaning is so much more like that we could never possibly understand his true, his true self. So just don't be afraid. And I know he'll bless me for this because, um, you know, I'm being obedient and um, I'm doing it because I love Jesus. And if you don't know him, you know, you ask him to come into your life. You confess your sins. Um, you believe in him with all your heart. It's about your heart, guys. It's not about what you're doing. It's about what he did for us. And, um, okay. So now I feel so much better because I just got the full message out. Okay. Have a blessed day. <laughs>